Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love tarot reading. This one's for you and your person, so whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date. Uh, also Aquarius, this is for the third week of November, but if it finds you at a different time, it was meant for you. It is timeless in this way. Uh, if this message is meant to find you, it will find you. Um, what else can I tell you, Aquarius? Uh, please bear in mind, I do private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I have a promo right now. I'm a Scorpio and it's Scorpio season. So if you have any Scorpio in your chart, anywhere in your chart, you can easily check it online for free if you're not sure. But if you do have Scorpio in your chart, then uh, all of my readings are half price currently. So uh, that's just something to look into if you're interested. And also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, uh, you know what to do, Aquarius. Like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and thank you to everyone who already has. I really, really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. Um, let's uh, dive into the reading. Bear in mind it's a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with you, Aquarius. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels. What's happening with Aquarius and their person currently, and what happened in the recent past to make the situation so? Yeah, there's a separation, a silence, currently between you and your person. Uh, let's just clarify this. Why is there a silence or a separation? Why is there a silence or a separation? Yeah, an ending. It's an ending. It, it ended. The, uh, the connection ended. Whatever it was, it ended. Um, and it didn't end in a good way. You're, you're feeling really betrayed. Yeah, death. Oh my God, death and the Ten of Swords, you know? Definite ending, not very pleasant. You may have felt stabbed in the back by your person. Okay, so what did your person bring into the situation and what did you? Uh, okay, sorry, let's, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I need to, I need more. Yeah, your person had a lot of ego. They like to be in the spotlight. They're coming up with this, the Six of Wands and the Sun. And you felt like you were constantly kind of, they were like putting you in limbo. This could have been one of those limbo relationships. Um, uh, we were just doing a reading for Libra where that came up, where it was like, you know, where was it? Gemini. Um, but it was one of those. And it was like, you know, let's not put a label on it kind of thing. You were put in limbo, the hanged man. You, that's how you felt in this relationship and you kept like bigging up your person it was all about their ego what they wanted to do what they wanted and you just like felt constantly betrayed they like the attention of other people and something may have come out about this person you know uh what was the reason we have the four of swords yeah this person betrayed you in some way uh something to came to light we have the sun here and the six of wands you know it, this is about their behavior maybe they like to flirt a lot with people or they just like had some kind of reckless selfish behavior uh three of uh swords at the bottom of the deck broken heart uh they broke your heart they didn't treat you very well they treated you you know in this connection maybe it's a new connection and you haven't even you know like you know put a label on it yet like literally not like solidified it yet but like they just made you feel like an option. Let's see. Yeah, uh, this person feels like that. Yeah, it has ended, and they feel ashamed because they do feel like you saw their true face. They tried to be, you know, this person likes to be admired in the outside world, kind of thing, you know. Um, but I feel like behind closed doors, they didn't treat you well. But when people were seeing you together, they treated you really well. Or it's someone who's just really, really concerned about their image. But they know it's kind of over for them because it's like you were like really into this person, even in a new connection, you know, you gave this person many chances, you gave them excuses. And they were just like, it's like a narcissistic kind of vibe, you know. Uh, they just didn't treat you right. They didn't treat you right. And you suddenly realize, oh, wait, this person isn't treating me right, you know? Um, yeah, and you're like, you did your own research here as well. Seven of Swords, this is how you feel. You feel betrayed by this person, but you did your own research. You may have looked into this person's behavior when they're not around you, and you may have realized that they do a lot of flirting or they like to be in the center of attention. Maybe there's like some DMs came to light on their um, Instagram, you know, something like that. There's someone who might have a lot of followers, someone who people admire, 
And, you know, that mage you here with the Two of Wands reassess the situation completely. You had to reassess the situation. Uh, let's see what this person's next action towards you is going to be. Yeah, they're in their head currently. And they're, um... Yeah, you know what? Because I feel like you are, like, you took the time out, you know? Like, you called them out. You took the time out. You feel, felt betrayed by them. Take it as it resonates. Sometimes, it, like, the energy can change. It can, it can be interchangeable. But I do feel like you were the one who, like, put the distance between you. And they're going to come in. Um, they may very well come in. Oh, yeah. But it might take them a while, you know? It may not be so soon. They want to have happiness again with you here with the Ten of Cups. This person is coming in. It's weird because I had a feeling that maybe they would just, you know? I don't know. It's like they're giving you space. They're giving you space. But you don't need space because you already felt in limbo. You need them to explain what they did, you know? And just everything has like this finality to it and this connection. And you felt really betrayed. You wanted them kind of to fight for you and they didn't. But like with the Knight of Swords here, or like they were like, okay, like, you know, I'm giving you space or something. Uh, for some of you, it was a straight up betrayal. Like they were like talking to other people, seeing other people maybe. Um, but for many of you, it was just like understanding what kind of personality this person had, you know, like checking out their social media, under, you know, finding out something about them. And this person kind of like, you know, instead of trying to fix it, was like, okay, I'll give you your space kind of thing. I feel for many of you like they didn't fight for it, but they're going to come in with the nine of swords. They're going to be like causing you more, like more distress. Like they're going to come in, but it'll take them a while because they have a lot of demons in, in their head right now. You know, they're really worried. They feel really guilty. They do feel guilty, but they have a lot of love for you. King of cups, like a lot of love. And they're going to try and manifest this relationship again, the magician, but the magician can be a trickster. You know, let's clarify this magician here. But they're going to come in, but they're going to cause you more. Yeah, page of swords. Mm, you know, this magician could be a little bit tricky. They might put you in the same situation you were in before. Nine of swords, it will take them a while because they're dealing with guilt. But they're, they're going to communicate. But they, even when they do communicate, they're going to like try and manifest it back. But they might even try and blame you or say like, you know, even though they gave you sleepless nights, they might say you gave me sleepless nights kind of thing, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, what is this leading to? What is this leading to, please? Temperance. Yeah, be careful. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Be careful. Sorry, I got a hair. Be careful, Aquarius. This, if you, this person comes back in, um, might take them nine days, nine weeks. I don't think it's as long as nine weeks, but it could, like, yeah, I don't know. It might be a while, you know. Um, but you got temperance. You're going to end up, all the love that you have to give, you're going to end up pouring from, you know, you're going to end up pouring from, like, one cup to another by yourself. Like, this person isn't going to, doesn't know how to receive love. Uh, they're a little bit tricky. They're a little bit, mm, you know, like, manipulative. They're going to try and manipulate you. Uh, you're going to... If you reconcile with this person, because they will offer reconciliation, you're going to end up feeling alone again. They're going to break your heart again. If they were seeing other people talk to other people, they're going to do it again. Just like in the past. Six of Cups behind the Three of Swords. Just like in the past. Let's do another deck. What, what else is coming in for Aquarius? I'm sorry, Aquarius. I got all heated. I don't like this person. If you're attached to them, you know, if your heart is breaking, try and let it go. Yeah, you're confused. The first person is a gaslighter. You're confused with the Six of Cups. Try and get more space from them, you know? Like I said, they, they gave you space. Maybe they said, I'm going to give you space. Use that space because, uh, you know, that way you can kind of get away from their influence. What else is coming in? Yeah, Aquarius, you got the lovers, you got the chariot, and you got the six of pentacles. New opportunities. This is your karma, the justice card. Justice will be served in your favor and love. In the next 
couple of months this is what's happening in the winter season if you're in the northern hemisphere or in the summer if you're in the southern hemisphere um you got the lovers coming in new love new love new choices everything new brand new it's coming in quick with the chariot someone's going to come into your life and it's going to be like they're going to sweep you off your feet and then in this time with the six of pentacles here they're going to give to you what you give to them you know this is going to be equal give and take this is going to be someone who you don't have to beg for attention like what you did with this person currently this is someone who's going to give you that attention without asking this is like a really great connection and it's coming in i'm telling you it's coming in really really fast really really quick wow this like you know th this is amazing but, you know, some distance needs needs to be had from this connection here right now because I see a lot of toxicity. This is not a very trustworthy person. Um, but, the, you know, good things are coming, and it is your karma. You know, walk into the light. Like, literally walk into the light, Aquarius. Like, don't, you know, don't be stopped. you got the Empress right, right behind this. You know, creativity. Disregard the gender. It's arbitrary. This is energy. You're walking into creativity. You're walking into a new way of life. Things will flourish. With this person, I just don't see it. Obviously, it's a general reading, so, you know, you will make the choices that you will make. Whatever, you know, you need to do the right thing for yourself. Not all of this will resonate with you, um, but I, I'm do saying better things for you. Uh, if your question was, is this person going to try and manifest this relationship back in? Yeah, I see that, probably. And they're going to, like, show you, like, at least, you know, after... Um, a little bit of time has passed. They will definitely show you some love. And it's not going to be a lot of time because stories are not a lot of time. It could literally be like nine, um, nine days. But it's going to be, but it's going to be deceptive and you're moving on to better things at the moment. Uh, so keep that in mind if this message is for you, of course. Uh, Aquarius, I'm sorry people are like this. I wish love was easier, but it isn't. That's why we're here. Please take care of yourself, Aquarius. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Uh, tell me if this resonated in the comments below. I'll see you next time and may the angels protect you.